Welcome to Harmony and Improvisation with Dub Pierce, a podcast dedicated to helping musicians of all levels to play better music. Join us in these upcoming episodes as we explore the ins and outs of major diatonic harmony. Visit us at HarmonyImprov.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube and your favorite podcast platform. Partner with us at Patreon.com backslash Harmony Improv. Welcome once again to Harmony and Improvisation. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully, uh, this episode, um, we're going to look at uh, a C major note set. And the idea behind it is that you will be able to eventually, and this will be stressed in the next episode, but you'll hopefully be able to start to superimpose transposed uh, note sets and or chord changes over C. We're just starting with C because it's the easiest to talk about. Um, we're going to look at how, how, how to use a C major note set over four different chords from within the C major note set. Now, think about this because this is the implication of everything we've learned so far. If a C major note set or any major note set, but a C major in this case, note set is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. <clears throat> and if there are chords determined by those seven notes, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and B diminished, then doesn't it kind of make sense that a C major note set would sound good over any of those chords? Yes, it does. And in fact, it does. Um, for the most part, there's a couple of places that cause a little bit of problem and you'll probably, maybe from the last episode, you might notice that that, that half step between E and F and that half step between B and C can sometimes be problematic if you decide to land on one or the other over a chord that really wants to pull away from that. We looked at last time at the five chord wanting to pull to the one. Well, if you're playing over a set of chord changes and the chord is G7, and you land on a C. Remember, a C is the one note of the key, and the B is the, a B note is the third of that five chord. Well, that's going to cause a bit of a clash. And so sometimes they're in, in jazz music anyway, they're called avoid notes. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't call them avoid notes because you actually can use them. It just depends on where you land. Um, a lot of times in uh, improvisation where you're headed is more important than where you've been. So you can play a lot of things that are quote unquote wrong and land on the quote unquote right note and people won't have any problem with it whatsoever. So in, as you're preparing to like go to jam sessions, things like that, or play with your friends in the garage on the weekend, realize that, uh, landing on a note within a chord is oftentimes a very safe place to be. So if you can always kind of envision your chord tones over uh, changes, chord tones being the notes in the chord, that's why we know, that's why we study what triads are and why in the future we're going to study what four note chords look like and extensions of those four note chords. Uh, in this, I'm going uh, I'm to show you, give you an example of, of how uh, these four chords sound when uh, layered, when a, a C major note set is layered over them. But then I want you to do it too. I'm going to play some uh, some music behind, some basic chord strums behind you. and But first I'm going to give you the note set uh, as it stands. And as when I give you that note set, kind of get it in your head, hum it, or if you have an instrument with you, play it, and then play it over this harm harmonic sound and see what you think. Okay? First most obvious C major. Well, a C major chord is going to sound great with a C major note set, right? C major. Mm-hmm. 
also, I mean, you know, just, I, I, sometimes I think this is obvious, but you don't have to, don't, I mean, I said from the beginning, you, this is not C major. <laughs> C major is those notes played any way you want to configure them, in any order, at any rhythm. C major. Right? C major. sounds kind of cool huh um <clears throat> now with since you have c major in your head i'm now going to give you uh just some some backing strums and i want you to uh to hear these notes ready Get those in your head or under your hands or whatever. And now here's a C major chord for you to play along with. Two, three, four. major all right so that now that one's that's just a throw-in you guys know that already you can hear that 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 comes from hearing you know songs when you're kids etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, simple simple tunes now let's move to something a little more interesting a minor is called the six chord of c major six minor C, D, E, F, G, A is the sixth note, and the chord built on that is A, C, E, or A minor, okay? So that sounds like this. C major note set played over an A minor chord. Ready? Here's the note set. Sing it with me. Or play it. Got it in your head? Here we go. Two, three, four.
was fun. Now we're going to look at D minor. D minor is the two chord of a C major note set. C major, D minor. D minor has a is a minor chord like the A minor chord, but they're two completely unique set types of minor. We'll, we're going to do a study of modes later on, which is, again, people freak out and, you know, throw their hands up when they hear the word modes, but it's such a simple thing to take in. Uh, we'll try to hopefully have you have the path paved for you by the time we, you get there, and you'll, it'll be simple for you. But in terms of modes, A minor is called the Aeolian mode of C major. All that really means is it's the... <clears throat> note set slash chord built on the sixth tone of a C major note set. D minor is called Dorian. It is a chord that's built on the second tone of a C major note set, D Dorian minor. All right, so here's what it sounds like. So now, here's, here's your note set. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, okay, good. That's D minor, Dorian. One more in the key of C. F major triad uh, in, uh, is the four chord of a C major note set. C, D, E, F, F major. Well, in modal explanation, it's called Lydian. It's got a sound to it. It sounds something like this. But we're just talking about a triad. So now we're going to hear what a C major note set sounds like over an F triad. This is one of those places where... You might think that a lot of the notes are clashy, but they're really pretty acceptable. I mean, it, the, 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 the notes work. C major sounds like over an F chord. Uh, yeah.
Your turn. Ready? Here's your note set. is all right well i hope that was fun um it's uh c a minor d minor and f for the one six two and four chords of a c major note set and you can do the same thing if you're thinking one six two four in any key you can pull that out and do the exact same thing the next um the next episode is going to be the last one uh, kind of application-wise for this first set of eps that we've done, and we're going to look at Roman numeral uh, chord changes, uh, kind of an analytical uh, Roman numeral way of describing chord changes, and we're going to apply them definitely to C major, but maybe take a shot at a couple other keys too and just uh, help you see how this knowledge that you're starting to uh, to attain is going to help you see music in a kind of more broad and confident way. Okay, thanks for being here. It's been fun. <laughs>